Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So Laurel Hubbard, the transgender weightlifter from New Zealand who competed at the Olympics this past summer in Tokyo, earlier this week was awarded Sportswoman of the Year by the University of Otago at their awards ceremony. So Hubbard is supposedly the first transgender winner of the award in the event's 113 year history. So we're gonna take a look at some articles and see what it describes as the award. And I'm gonna recap for you Laurel Hubbard's performance at the Tokyo Olympics this year. And why I believe, not based on gender identity or anything, but purely on performance, that Hubbard should not have been given this award. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this one out, and let's take a look. So it was for the University of Otago, so let's take a look at the Otago Daily Times. Transgender weightlifter Laurel Hubbard has been named University of Otago Sportswoman of the Year at the Blues Awards earlier this week. Hubbard is believed to be the first transgender winner of the award in the event's 113 year history. The Queen Queenstown athlete became the first openly transgender woman to compete at the Olympics when she contested the women's 87 plus kilo category at the Tokyo Games this year. The 43 year old was eliminated from the event when she failed to make a successful lift in the snatch. So quick recap for those who haven't seen in my previous video I did on this. In weightlifting, if you fail to lift or register a weight, then you don't lift in the second event because there's two events, snatch and the clean and jerk, and she failed to lift in the first event, so she doesn't get to lift in the second. And this is just a quick recap of what went down when she lifted. So first lift, failed. Got it up, thought she had it, and it ended up, it wasn't a clean lift, the judges gave two red lights, so it was a fail. And then the final lift, went for the lift, and dropped it over the back of her head. So failed to complete one lift at the Olympic Games in Tokyo and is now Sportswoman of the Year from the University of Otago when she failed to make one successful lift after she qualified for the Olympic weightlifting team and what her coach said, the rules are in place, that's the playing field we're in, so that's how we're going to move forward. This is from the Daily Mail. They, they bent the rules for a look. Hubbard, who transitioned in 2012, qualified for the Olympic Games after the International Olympic Committee changed their rules to allow women to compete if their testosterone levels are below a certain threshold. So they changed the rules, tweaked the rules to allow her in, and then puts up a performance like that, couldn't make a lift, and now is the Sportswoman of the Year. This has got nothing to do with her being transgender, her gender, or identity, whatever. It's got nothing to do with that. As an athlete, if that was me, I would be in shame from putting up that kind of performance at the Olympics and then giving me sports person of the sports woman of the year award or sportsman of the year award if it was me I would be hanging my head in shame I wouldn't want a performative wokeness award if I was her from the university to say you are our sports woman of the year because of who you are basically and let's take a look what is performative wokeness because there's no reason they gave this to her for her performance at the Olympics from Varsity. Performative wokeness is just that, performative, a superficial show of solidarity within with minority and oppressed bodies of people that enables usually white and privileged people to reap the social benefits of wokeness without actually undertaking any of the necessary legwork to combat injustice and inequality. It was injustice and inequality because female athletes told to be quiet regarding transgender weightlifter. So the female athletes who wanted to go to the Olympics were told to shut up, be quiet, when they questioned having Laurel Hubbard compete on the New Zealand team. And then what happens? They get their golden girl, she competes and fails to make a lift at the Olympics. And then he's awarded Sportswoman of the Year. There you go, that's your Sportswoman of the Year. Failed to make one lift. Let's take a look at this quote from the University, uh, Otago University Students Association President Michaela Waite Harvey. Let's see what she said. We could think of no one more worthy of Sportswoman of the Year than Laurel Hubbard, who represented Otago and New Zealand incredibly well at this year's Tokyo Olympics. What the f*** are you talking about? Didn't complete a single lift. This is giving Team of the Year to the team who f came last and didn't win a game. Are you kidding me? So in a short statement to the Otago Daily Times, Hubbard said she was grateful for all the support and kindness received from the teaching staff and students at Otago University. For what? Performing terribly at the Olympics. So Laurel Hubbard doesn't complete a lift at the Olympics, is awarded Otago University Sportswoman of the Year at their awards night. All right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this one out, and I'll see you in the next one.